Hello there. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what it looks like when students access your course through a mobile device. Now, keep in mind, mobile devices change, so I'm showing this to you on an Android phone. A student on an iPhone might have a slightly different view. So, this is the dashboard. This is how it appears to students when they navigate to it. Uh, global navigation, down below, you can see they can access their dashboard in the bottom left. They can go to their calendar by clicking on that icon and they can use that to navigate through all the requirements and assignments that you've assigned to them. They have a to-do list too as well. It's going to list everything they're intended to do and it'll have notifications of new notifications happening. And they can message people through here as well by sending a message through this interface. So you can see right now that the Canvas student app is basically built for people to check in in between classes and in on-the-go places. And that's primarily how your students are likely to use it. So keep that in mind as you are designing content and as you are making sure to put due dates onto things so that it will appear here so that they know what's coming up. Also keep in mind how things will look within courses. So for example, within this course, it's not going to display my home page right away. Instead, it will have a link to go to the home page, and it will look a little bit different. It will try and squish things so that it will fit online. So, for instance, Heidi and I aren't side by side here because it's tried to squish us into this space. It still is able to get everything in there, though. The course summary, the summary of all the published assignments, is also available there, too, as well. All right. Now, if I head back... I can navigate through the modules. Let me show you what that looks like. So here's the module page. You can collapse or uncollapse these. You can look at pages from here. It will try and size videos that fit into the space available. Here's a page with a bunch of text and a series of links. You can see that it resizes content to a large degree. But it's always a good idea to take a look at your course in the student app and see what it is that students are seeing because sometimes content be can become unavailable to them. Here's a discussion forum, how that will appear. They can reply by just clicking reply here. And here is assignment. It's already submitted. Let me grab a hold of an assignment, a test assignment that I've added to not this course, but to a different one. So, test assignment will allow me to submit in a number of different ways. You can see the submission types allow for a text entry, website URL, submission, media recordings, and file uploads. What the students would do is they'd click on Submit Assignment. Text entry would be pretty easy, but you can see that this would kind of be a low-stakes assignment because they'd just be typing it out on their phone. And they can also, however, click on Submit Assignment, submit a website URL, or upload a file from their computer, or in this case from their phone. Or they can upload an image. They can take a photograph of something and have that be the upload that they send to you. And finally, media recording. They can record audio or video from their phone or just upload a media file they've already recorded and upload it from there too. So at a glance, that's what the mobile view looks like. Keep it in mind as you're going throughout your course and designing content. It's very useful to be able to download the student app, visit your course in it, and see what your content looks like. Because Canvas does a good job of making sure to ensure all the text fits onto the page. It was useful to double check. Now, one other thing, grades. This is what their grades will look like. They'll see all the assignments along with the associated grades that they've got for it. They can also play with their scores, with a little what-if score. They can click on the pencil and say, what would happen if I got a better grade on this than I have currently? So, for instance, they could look at this assignment where they don't have a grade, and they can say, well, what would happen if I got a 9 out of 10 on that? And it would tell them what their grade would be. Now, that would only be a what-if score. So they can always see their actual grade. So just to FYI about how grades appear for them as well. So if you have any other questions about online uh, access to your course content, please let us know. You can reach us at tlc at We'll get in touch with you as soon as we can. Thanks.